Chicago investor and entrepreneur Samuel Insel hired a team to design a new opera house to serve as home for the Chicago Civic Opera. From the view of the plaza, you see the 44-story office building. Its first 12 stories, the opera house becoming the seat, the 22-story office annexes on either side create the arms, and the 45-story office tower making the chair back. That would make the building behind, bordering the plaza, its ottoman. But it's so much more. This building, known as Two North Riverside Plaza, designed by a famed Chicago architecture firm, Halliburton Root. It was among the first private buildings in the city to include a public plaza in its design. At the time of its construction, the river was polluted and buildings butted their backs up against the water's edge. This was among the first private buildings in the city to include a public plaza in its design. It was built as the home of the Chicago Daily Newspaper, and you can see from the reliefs depicting scenes of famous journalists of the time, Horace Greeley, Joseph Pulitzer, and Joseph Medill donned the facade. It was said to also house early rogue radio and television studios. A further note is, this is also the first building in Chicago to use the concept of air rights in order to build over a railroad right-of-way.